Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video I'm continuing working on the improvements for the Proxon MF7 team and the high torque transmission. I need to do two more things uh, while I was not disassemble completely the mill machine. Um, clean up this side completely and uh, that it's completely straight and uh, without all the leftovers that I have. Also drill holes for the mounting of the gear. I'm starting with the holes on the rotary. Uh, from the center I need to go here 12.5 millimeters. Uh, three, six, nine, 12.5. Going down, maybe you even see the mess that I have on top of the milling machine, but you will see it. There is all electronics outside. First of all, I will clean up with the end mill this part and these two pieces. This will be it with the plate, uh, so here I have a little bit of scratch from the end mill that was before. Um, this will be more than enough for the bottom side of this plate, so it's really accurate. Here is the line where the fly cutter was ends between the passes. Um, also, of course, it's not 100% accurate um, because I was changed the uh, clamps from one side to another, but exactly for this piece, it's okay. Before moving forward, I want to mock everything on the paper. These are exactly the pattern of the holes I have here for mounting, so I will uh, screw down this uh, piece of paper. First, I will try it out. Here is the lines that I should not cross. It's the ends of the body of milling machine. So these lines over here. Something like that. I could theoretically cross them with the gear on top. So then I will need to do some, I don't know, beautiful cover for the gear from the outside but I couldn't cross them inside uh, that with the engine for example that engine is uh, not hitting nothing I changed the camera position for better understanding what is where okay so The gear theoretically could be somewhere over here. Mm. 
Now I will do the small hole for the drill for the gear. Something like that. Theoretically possible. Now the engine. As you can see, I thinking about mounting engine on this side because if I will cut out this um, holding point, then entire top plate could play a little bit on this side. And if I will cut out this, then I will still have one. Okay. Okay, let's imagine the gear stays here. The engine and the engine gear. Engine gear. would be only over here. Yes, yes, something like that. Then I know that engine size I have 36 millimeters. That means that um, on one side it's near 18 okay 19 millimeters that i still have some i don't know some place for the screws or something else that uh, around the engine and it definitely not fits over here with this position of the gears i had one more idea how i could deal with it and actually with this idea um, I don't need even mount, move the engine. So the engine could stay on the same or almost the same position where it is at the moment. So the gear will be over here and this one gear should go something like over here. Okay, to make sure that I am in the right place. I'll try it out with the this one where I could go down. I need to mark these positions. So over here I have the engine position then 18 millimeters from the back. It's almost at the end of this thing. So the gear could be located over here. It's really possible. Like this. And this one gear, to match this one, could be over here. Again, let's do the hole for the gear. So this one gear should go over here. Now it will be bigger hole. And mount it completely on the bottom. even more bigger.
this one gear over here with the engine and engine should fit at least from what I see and now the belt and this one belt of course will be without tension but I could do the uh, I could do something like that I will need just a few bearings over here with which I will actually change the uh, how tight the belt will be should it work I don't know Maybe, maybe not. Something like that. This was also one of my ideas how I could uh, fit everything inside still. That everything covers with the original covering. Only the problem I see here with this cover it's that the uh, all the wires going out over here exactly where the gear is uh, so very likely that i will change the position of the wiring so somewhere i don't know somewhere over here maybe or uh, whatever maybe somewhere over here and I will drill a little bit the uh, cover and I will broke the entire view of the machine but it is what it is these are only one visible way for me at the moment how to deal with all this stuff uh, I will use some bearings for belt tension or I will make the pulley like this, uh, but without the um, tooth. So, and this will work like uh, for the tension of the belt. The rotation is clockwise. So the engine is uh, should rotate this pulley this way, clockwise as well like this so if the uh, tension point will be over here there will be no load on it so the most of the load of the uh, belt over here i need to try it i definitely need to try it another good question will the bearings and will all the mount of uh, this one gear fits also um, because it's still the question for me and yeah but with this position everything should fit only one possible thing that i will need to cut out it's there at the bottom at the very bottom uh, of uh, the head there is the mounting point of original electronics, so probably I will cut it out uh, because I, I think it will touch the engine. Also, I will uh, mount everything for exactly this gear, so there will be basically static mesh between uh, the engine and this gear. Uh, the engine I still could move a little bit but gear will be located in the fixed side so i, I will say save, save some place for uh, the mounting of the uh, gear here on the plate uh, with uh, uh, tension pulley that should be mounted somewhere over here i will need to do some kind of 
possibility of moving this pulley and uh, make the change of the belt tension. And then will be quite a good point how to uh, manage all the wires because previously they was going over here where the belt will be now. Also how to mount electronics, but for the mounting electronics I could uh, do the uh, um, mounting bracket from over here. So like this. So from over here, like this. I will continue with checking all the dimensions and mounting this gear to the plate over here. There is one more possible solution. I could use the smaller belt. This one is 180 tooth. I could use 164. I see it on Amazon. It's available. I could order just a smaller belt. Um, but then I will need to do the tension with this gear, also with engine wheel moving together with this one. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I will mount this gear at first here. then the tension point and then this belt. I have five of them, so why not to use them? Anyway, I, I'm rebuilding completely everything here. I will start from this square aluminum. It's not actually square. I will need to make it square. So it's a good work for, for Joe Chuck. I have uh, now the mountain of the bearings. So I will need to do all the operations in one installation to have the good persistency. I will face this side. I will cut the hole of, I think, 13 millimeters or even 14 millimeters. And then do the mounting points from the both of the sides for the bearings that are 16 millimeters. Facing first. Now most of the preparation done. I have uh, the hole near 13 millimeters. It's okay. So for this bearings is uh, more than good. And I will increase the size over here to 16 millimeters. To the depth of five millimeters that bearing fits easily. Pretty good fit. Now I need to do the same, but from the another side. It's a little bit tricky. And I need uh, completely another type of the cutter that I could cut from the other side, 
But as I'm already on the forger chart, I will rotate the part. I will rotate it. I will um, make sure that I'm in the middle of the hole and I will cut from this side. It's the best results I could achieve. Indicator moves uh, near 200. So should be quite good. Also, it could be the spindle bearings. And the same one more time. Now I have a mounting point, so this one is mounted, this one is also possible to place over here. This one plate I need to cut a little bit here, here, here and here. And this one I need to trim this on angle. This one and this one. This one pretty tight, so almost to the bearing there will be like one millimeter to the bearing. Now I will make all part a little bit more beautiful. Now I have a bunch of parts prepared and uh, I need to assemble all of this stuff to check how it works. So the bearings go here. This one should be located over here and two screws I wasn't checked it yet so it's uh, the first time I'm assembling and this one shaft goes inside and second one bearing to hold the bearings and the shaft I made this one Next one, the gear. Now this one plate <clears throat> could go over here. And it's still on the position where it was and where it should be. And now I could mount two pulleys, one on this shaft and one on this one. As it holds the plate in the position where it should be. And the belt.
One of the okay positions of uh, belt tightening pulley will be over here, <laughs> but here I couldn't do that because uh, then I will hit um, entire constructions. So I could do it only somewhere over here, but I'm worried that it could be not enough tension on the uh, on this gear and I will just spin this one and that's it. I will need to do a construction of uh, two pulleys and the belt goes something like this. We'll see how it goes, but this one I will do in the next video as well as mounting of the engine. So. See you next time. Take care.